What's up, y'all? How's it going? We just got the gentleman situated a bit. Yeah, water. Water's full for them. And they're enjoying the hay. I just supplement them hay. Oh, we got a uh, almost full moon. So, tomorrow's supposed to be a full moon. But this area, kind of, we got to pick up one netting, two corner stakes, and a mineral tub that they're not really digging the the minerals so I'm just going to take that big tub over to the main herd and just have them I'll just put the the minerals in there for them so maybe they'll get more use out of it than these guys will see this one it's like a old mineral tub if you ever find mineral tubs from them big ranches we used to use these a long time ago we get them we don't really use them a whole lot anymore but yeah I mean they come in handy even the big ones, like the uh, the 200 pound ones, so even those come in really handy for gardening and for just using them over here. You can use them for water and whatnot. We just had a lot of this, so this is what I got to pick up. One handed is a little crazy. I think I've mastered it. You find the bottom one, lift it a little bit, put your feet there, and you kind of had to grab this put it in there and then i come back this it's not so messy bring it in just like that Ooh. oh now we got to pick up the middle tip we'll just do this cool sometimes you wish you had three arms right <laughs> all right we're done for the evening it's uh friday evening just wanted to do a uh a quick overcap. I'll probably do another video tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, we are going to separate the the weather lambs and the weather kids, the ones that were born in the mid to late winter. Oh, it is going to be a pain picking it out tomorrow. There we go. Got it. Sometimes the, uh, the stakes on the bottom, the netting, they can get tangled up with each other. So find out what works best with them. What was I at? Uh, the weathers will be separating the weathers. We got, I think we had more, but for some reason there's a lot less. Three weathers. Well, one, the bottle baby coffee is still intact. He's still a lamb lamb. Probably end up banning him in the spring or something. We got three weathers. They're born in February, and we have, how much did I count? Five weather kids. But there's three bigger ones. They were born in February. Uh, the other ones are still small. They were born in the March. So that's the only thing that we'll have three weather kids ready for processing, three weather lambs ready for processing as well. I usually just sell it to people in the area or anyone nearby that's I mean, they're all pasture raised as y'all know my followers know that for these guys do well they're not gonna get processed yet somebody was looking for a rambuli but i didn't have a rambuli he's a debuli and we got loki he's a merino and we got our three angoras oh still got the navajo angora available but other than that what else did we do this week we got more water water ran out again at the crazy time we moved these guys too uh, we're also going to move them again tomorrow because we are going to we're so close to the corrals right there that's a stone's throw away the netting from yesterday we're going to set up over here tomorrow afternoon we'll just take a walk over here um, it's probably most likely going to go past this little juniper tree right here and then it's going to be just right there right next to the corral uh, we're going to bring the weather tomorrow afternoon drop them off and then these dudes will probably do Sunday afternoon. We'll just take like some hay over here for them. And once they see the weather's over here, they'll be like, oh, here's where we're going. And we'll put them back over here with them. One project we still haven't really got to is our old hay barn. Just the legs are still erect, but haven't finished cleaning it up yet. So but the wind blew the roof off and all that. And but now it's done. 
the barn, just reconsidering the barn so the legs are still erect and the beams are still up. We'll be dismantling that for the spring. Uh, we're just going to do something else with that. Most likely we're just going to do a shearing barn. That's about it. And we we're going to stay out in the pasture. But other than that, yeah, that's it. Really quick update for this week. Oh, one thing I haven't told y'all is um, the event we attended last week on Saturday. We got invited out to an event in Albuquerque, a fall farm festival. It was pretty fun. I'm so grateful for our friend and for inviting us out there. We um, we uh, exposed our wool pallets and we did not exactly sure what to rate it against. <laughs> our first event ever for the wool pallets. I guess this sets whatever next event is going to, we're going to be attending. We're going to be doing that. I know there's Edgewood, Flagstaff. Where's that other one that happens? Oh, Window Rock. So there's like three, maybe those three events next year. We are planning for that and we're going to be expoing our wool pallets over there as well. And then also everything else that we want to do with that. So we'll have Loki's wool over there. The, the one you see on our website, the really fine wool. We'll have his wool. I want to keep him. His wool is like cotton candy, man. It's just like, oh, it's so beautiful. Our Ram RJ's got some pretty nice wool as well. Not as beautiful as yours, buddy. You're like really close. We'll have his wool, the DBLA's wool. That's really nice too. RJ, it's okay. We're going to build up build on you buddy you're the foundation as well so our two foundation rams so we're gonna be building our fine wool on top of these two magnificent specimens and then our mohair will be those three young gentlemen over there i don't know about the navajo angora if i sell him we won't use him in three years but this year we're using blue he's getting pretty big I want to keep him as well, but we'll see what happens. I know it's hard to let them go, right? Most times. And we got Gizmo, who's probably like a 75% American Angora, also like a uh, a quarter Navajo Angora. So he's got the fuller face, cleaner legs. Though Blue is the same. He's got cleaner face, cleaner legs. He, we're gonna have their mohair as well. So we're gonna. Well, I'm gonna try to process some and then do the little rovings learning how to do that it's going to take me a little bit more time to get all of that prepped for these events on top of that with the full-time job it gets a little crazy i'm hoping that will change next year put more time into our fiber and then our fiber animals our land our garden so just a lot but you know, it's manageable. It's, it'll be good. That's going to be our next year. This event, we did really well. Web's, the web, It's on the website now. If you know somebody or if you're looking to prep your garden now, it would be a good time to add them. Add them. You just water it down. It'll hold the moisture in a little bit longer. When it snows, you'll hold the moisture in a little bit longer. Like three, four times longer than just the soil by itself. And on top of that, come springtime, all the nutrients in the wool would have dispersed into your soil. So you would already have nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potassium, and all the other trace minerals in there. Our trace elements and minerals would already be in your soil and just ready to plant. I love to do that for my garden. I um, amend my garden soil in the fall time which i know i got to do a video for so it was kind of limited with time and everything and we got to prep for winter we still need to get firewood which is going to be this weekend but anyway i prefer to do my garden like that from i'm in my soil in the fall because a lot of i use blood meal bone meal and azomite so blood meal takes 
like three to four months to start decomposing, to start breaking down, six months for it to fully be in the soil. Same with uh, bone mill, uh, same with azomite. Any natural fertilizer will take three months to start breaking down. Um, so in a, anywhere from that three months to the six months, it will, the, the nutrients will get released into the soil. So there's slow release fertilizer. That's how natural fertilizers work. That's why I usually prep in the fall. <clears throat> the first couple of years, I prep in the summertime or the springtime when I prep my beds. But I think the first couple of years, or the first year, I actually used just regular fertilizer, you know, like ammonium sulfate for nitrogen, the other phosphorus stuff, just whatever I needed. So it was just crazy. Magnesium sulfate, a lot of sulfate, calcium carbonate for the calcium deficiency but a lot of that sulfate stuff had so much sulfur in it that my ph level is already near an eight here and it, it boosts it up again and we're already going above an ph level of eight and eh, it just wasn't feasible for me so i had to take an alternative look and i found blood meal bone meal as it might work best and i tried to find other natural fertilizers they got alfalfa meal they got kelp meal tennessee brown sand i mean they have all these crazy other stuff too that's natural so i had to ship all those in and shipping is crazy to where i live i just never got to that level but this is a really good way to restore your minerals and your trace elements in your garden soil the wool palace because Whatever they're eating out there, the nutrients that they ingest, it's breaking down in their system and that's going into their wool. We have an assortment of minerals that are in that wool palace. I still got to get it tested to, to get an accurate nutrient level for each element on that. That way at least I know what amount is in our wool palace. And then next year when we do, we get the two dudes by the year. Knox and Blue. Oh, here comes Loki. All right, gentlemen, calm down. Full moon is making them a little crazy. Actual full moon is tomorrow, y'all. Next year, we're going to get the loose minerals out there. just, And that will also help boost all of those minerals within the wool pellets as well. I'm really excited to see how this happens. So we're going to test it. Um, I want to test it, uh, the wool from this year. And then test the wool from next year as well. Next year, but it will be the following year because we won't introduce the loose mineral until next year, probably after sure. It will be the year after. But yes, yeah, that's how it's going to be. All right, y'all. I got to get back. We got to get dinner ready. And the moon is cool. And the sun sets. I just wanted to do a video. I, mean, I don't want to be hiding in the dark, but I have shown my face plenty of times in all the other videos, right? And then the, uh, the star, there it is. Always the first one that comes up. That's so cool. Pretty awesome. I'm always fascinated by stars. I don't know. What are y'all fascinated by? Y'all ever been fascinated by the stars? And the galaxy and the universe? I've always been. I wanted to get a telescope when I was a little kid by my mom. Being traditional and all that. She told me, like, you can't uh, look at the stars. So I just kind of was, like, bummed out about that. It's it's something was in this era. I asked her why, and it's like Hanadi, and then some other stuff too. So I was just like, oh, that's crazy. But it's just how we respect the star beings and everything else that brought us to this earth. That's just how ours is, similar to the Norse gods, mythology, and all that. That's a whole other thing. <laughs> all right, y'all. We're going to head back to the house, get some dinner, and but for tomorrow, because tomorrow's going to be a pretty busy day. Firewood, uh, weather, separation. Oh, we need to get some dog food. Yep. I think we're just going to saw the woods, the firewood, and then just leave them over there. i got to turn this thing on, too. Loki? There we go. All right. We're going to head on back. A trusty old steed. We'll just take the chainsaw on this, head over to the ridge, and... Start sawing, and then we'll come back and we'll take the trek out there Sunday morning. I think that's how, how we're going to do it. So might be a lot easier that way. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all later. Peace.